Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Victoria and I'm a mess and my voice is always higher in my intros and then it just gets progressively deeper. Fuck. Today we are doing a and a I like to do one of these every so often just because I think it's cool to be able to ask someone a question that you admire. I know a lot of you guys really look up to me and I appreciate that. It's not the right choice, but I appreciate that. I know you guys have things that you wanna know about me. So I picked a few from Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do so. Link is in the description and you can be a part of the next one. But until then, Let's do this one. I'm kind of drunk, sorry. Someone wants to know what my current fetish is. I would definitely say ass. <laughs> I will just lay in bed all day and just squeeze it and play with it. I think it's so like amazing. Like it just literally boggles my mind how like amazing an ass is. Like, wow, what a creation. And his is like perfect. Like it's, it's not too big, but it's not too small. It's like the perfect like feel oh my god i love it someone wants to know if i've ever gotten in a fist fight um no but i fisted myself once someone wants to know the most rewarding part of my journey i'm assuming they mean my transition so i would definitely say the fact that i was so like worried about it before and now it's like perfect before i was like you know i'm never gonna look feminine enough i'm never gonna be able to wear heels because i'm too tall or i'm never gonna like fit like it's just not gonna work like it's gonna be ugly i realized as i transition and as i became who i've always been uh, that's not really about like aesthetics at all when i was watching youtube when i was younger the only really like trans girl representation were like the Barbies, I call it. Like girls who really like to wear makeup and like dress up super, super like femme girls. And I always say on my channel, if that's what you like to do and that is what makes you happy, I think that is awesome. And I think that everyone should do what makes them happy. I never bash anyone for what they choose to do, but that's not what I like to do. So being a really young person and only seeing that it made me feel like that's what I had to do and if you watch like some of my earlier videos I feel like that's what I tried to do in the beginning and now it's like it there's no pressure like this is who I am this this is like me and I, I feel so comfortable right now like I'm just very like happy so that's very rewarding to like have those worries and stuff not be valid and just be like oh like I was like worrying for nothing it's it's really cool. Someone would like to know what motivates me. I think currently what is motivating me is just like being the best person that I can be and surrounding myself with visions of what I want. My new favorite YouTuber is David Dobrik. I think he is amazing. His vlogs make me so happy. And it's really like a vision of what I want. Like his lifestyle is exactly what I know that I would thrive in and it motivates me to watch someone who like has everything that I want he's really like paved like a road for himself and that is very eye-opening to me I was actually watching an old vine compilation of his and it's so funny because I always get so down on myself about like the quality of my content and how it's not where I want to be yet but then I look at people like him and like he's so successful now and his videos are so well made but before like his old vines like you can tell he like filmed it on a shitty phone and everyone starts somewhere and if you just work hard enough, you will get to where you wanna be. And that is something that really, really motivates me a lot. Someone would like to know what my biggest pet peeve about YouTube is. It's probably those YouTubers. You can just tell they're like following everything by the book. It's simply Nessa15, at the start of every video, she does that thing where she's like, hey girlies, but like you can tell she's so dead inside. Like every time she says it, she's just like, Hey girlies. And I'm like, oh my God, like, are you okay? Like, do you need help? Blink three times if you need help. Someone wants to know what happened to Vlogmas. As you guys know, last year in December, I attempted to do Vlogmas. The reason I stopped is because I didn't plan ahead for it. It was a very spur of the moment thing. And it made me really depressed because I couldn't do it. Like I sat down to like film a video every day and I was like, fuck, this is hard as fuck. So I just had to stop because it was stressing me out. This also happens every time I try to start an upload schedule. I think it's just cause I'm like a free spirit. As soon as you throw structure into something that I enjoy doing, I don't enjoy doing it anymore. In my head, if I'm like, you have to upload on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, it makes me not want to do it. And I think that has a lot to do with my childhood and like 
I've just always been like defiant. Like I wasn't a bad kid, but I just like, I hated following rules and I think I still hate following rules. Someone wants to know what my introduction to smoking weed was. I remember the first time I ever smoked weed, it was in my bedroom and I smoked it out of an apple and I had no idea what I was doing. And I just got really paranoid and I thought my parents were knocking on my door and I went to open the door and I was like, this is it, like I'm fucked and no one was there, it was my dog. Someone would like to know how do you embrace your natural look and slay without makeup? Thank you. I think you just have to like believe that you're really beautiful. I really have like a unique, I guess you could say, perception of beauty. I really just think like human beings in general are very beautiful. The human body is just so beautiful. The things that it can do, the ways that it adapts, you would swear that I'm high right now, I swear I'm not. It's just, I think, Raw is so much more appealing to me personally than artificial. It's fun to put on makeup and like look like a fucking different person. And there, I know a lot of people who love to wear makeup every day and like it's it makes them so confident and that's awesome. It like doesn't make me happy. I don't think it has the same effect on me. I just really like how I look without it versus with it. And the last question for today, someone would like to know how I deal with height dysphoria. At the end of the day, I know that I literally can't change it. And I've said this before, it's like, I find it very draining to obsess over something that I can't change because I think you should worry about things that you can change. If you're unhappy with something that you can change, then it's easy to do that and act upon it and make the changes that you need to make. With height, it's like, I can't shrink, so why am I sitting here crying in my bed? You don't have to like it. Like, you don't have to like being tall. I hate that. Like, I hate when people are like, accept your flaws, embrace your flaws. Like, I don't think you should force yourself to like it. Because no, I don't fucking like being a six foot three person. I think I don't like it. I hate it. But I can't change it. So, I just move on. You don't have to embrace and accept and love your flaws just you just have to move on that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you would like to subscribe feel free to do so only if you want to like this video if you liked it and my social media is in the description if you would like to follow those as well i post a lot on instagram and snapchat and twitter so check those out i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye